Shalom, all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rocha Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rocha Kodash. So, um, this is a few scriptures that I've got written down, pretty much, you know, for, you know, basically for us Akiyam to endure, basically, to keep enduring in this faith. There's, you know, many scriptures on that. So we got to endure so then we can receive the reward by the hands of Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, by the hands of Yahweh Shai, we're going to receive a reward for our endurance. So I'm going to read some of these scriptures. Enduring what? This world. All right. So this is Ecclesiastes 2 and 1. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right, so we serve in the Lord. That's us brothers serving the Lord today. You know, we're serving the Lord and we're living in a world where basically we live in a sinful society, man. So when you serve the Lord, temptations come your way. Negative things come your way. You know, it could be even what you deem as, you know, so-called positive. People might want to give you this, you know, you might, people want, might want to bring, someone you might know in the world might, you know, want to bring you into a good job or some shit like that, basically. Realms where you can get in trouble, man, basically. What, you, what people in the world will consider opportunities in this world, basically. Which we're not supposed to participate in all that, man. Stay away from all that. Just serve the Lord, man. You know, as best we can. Because, you know, those... Yeah, and not just that. Other temptations too. Other temptations too. It could be a wicked woman trying to deal with you, but she's trying to commit adultery. Many things. So when we serve the Lord, you know, we prepare on our soul for temptations, man. You know? Many things can, ha can come your way, you know, curveballs, man, but we got to keep fighting through them, basically, you know, and that's what it is. That's why we got to, as best we can, stay the hell away from the world, man. So prepare our soul for temptation because, hey, one wrong move in this truth and you could be out of there, basically. One wrong move and you, Yahweh Shai doesn't deliver you. So prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart alright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. You set your heart alright, how do you do that? By doing this work, believing in Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, pushing on man, doing the right things, alright? Do them um, to the best of your ability, you know, not committing sin out here man, to the best of your ability. Because we're in this sinful flesh man, but to the best of your ability, we got to do the, the best we can man. So we constantly endure man. All right, it says, "Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end." And how, what, how, what's the, how do we be increased in the last end? Because if Yahweh Shai delivers us, guess what, man? We get rewarded with him because Yahweh Shai is coming back for his reward. And when Yahweh Shai comes back to get his, well, he's already got his reward because the Lord, when he went to the heavenly realm, the scripture says all things was given unto him in heaven and on the earth. All right, all principalities are going to bow to him. So he's just waiting to come back to get his, the second part of his reward, basically. And we're hoping to be a part of that because the scriptures say that the believers, the saints, the, the hopeful elect, the 144,000 are what? Are joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. So it says, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art, when thou art changed to a lower state. Yeah, because we, right now we're in a lower state, man. And you know, you might be catching hell at the job. You might be finding it hard to find a new job. You might not, you know, it, you know, as fucked up as it is, you know, we all got to work, you know, in this world. You know, but even sometimes these jobs get tough. You have to bounce around from job to job. I go through stuff like that, personally. I have to bounce from job to job because it's just fucked up jobs, man. The people are fucked up, you know, the spirits, they are messed up. You know, you got to maneuver around in this society. Because we're in a lower state. We're not in our power state, man. You've got to deal with shit. Deal with wicked demons at these places, these environments. Just day-to-day -day living can be hard in this world. Being, you know, when you're outside in the elements. All right? So we're, so it says, be patient. When that, but what keeps us sane, though? Believing in Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, man. When we go through these things, you know. Because, hey, brothers in the truth, we're, we're um, you know, for lack of a better word, we're like kind of crazy. Every brother's got an element of craziness to him. You know, like our apostles always say, you have to, you know, have those elements. You know, you have to be a bit crazy to be in this truth. So we've got to deal with some shit in this society, man. You know, some brothers more than others. So it says, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. So we've got to be patient, but we be patient because we know what's coming. 
that's the that's the beautiful thing that we have that the rest of the society the rest of two the two thirds of our people don't have they don't have the 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 sight to see what's coming. All right, so be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. So we gotta be patiently waiting, basically. So it says, for the gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Yeah, because you know, um, I'll read that again. It says, for for because I just wanted to look at what the next scripture is. I got written here. Okay, so gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, man. Yeah, so gold is tried. That's how. You purify gold is what? Through fire. And that's what we're going through. That's it's symbolic as to what you know all the Archeam are going through. The fire, man. An acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So Lord willing, all the things we go through, if we remain and stay in the right path and get delivered, hey, the Lord was with us from with that's a scary thing in his truth, basically. You don't know unless if you're of the elect until you're delivered, you know, until you're beamed up. But you gotta keep going. Because if you are found worthy, you, you was one of those acceptable men, man. So we got to keep going through this hell, basically. So I wanted to read this here as well. This is Revelation 21 and um, 21 and 7. 21 and 7, right? So Revelation 21 and 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his power. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his power. All right? And he shall be my son. And what are we overcoming? This world. All right. Going back into the Ecclesiastes 2. Overcoming this world, man. So if you overcome this world, you're going to inherit all things. Because you're going to, we're going to be joint with Yahweh Shai. So we're going to have the, 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 the um, palaces, the, any woman you want, all kind of women from the other, you know, you're going to have all kind of women from the other nations. Any women you want. So-called white women, Ammonite women, thick, slim, whatever it is. You know, you're going to have them fine Eve. They're going to be in order. Well, they ain't going to be called Eve in the kingdom. So lucky. But you're going to have them fine Jake women in order in the kingdom, can't, which you can't even imagine now. You know, so we're going to have all things, man. All, any woman you want, you know, everything just to your beckoning call, like how was I promised us. You know? And that's that, all those things like the extras, like the, 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 the jewelry and... The, um, the palaces, that's like extras, man. Really, we just want a righteous world with Yahweh Shai. And, and everything just, you know, when you get, when we inherit the world, everything is just going to come onto us because that's just our blessing, you know? But it's just, it's part of the reward, though. We're going to get rewarded for belie believing, basically. It's part of the reward. So it says, and I'll keep reading verse 8. It says, but the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Exactly. So all those, the list of things written down, what Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai said, they're going to participate in what? They, all those all those that outline that the Lord just said, unbelie that all the fearful, but the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters. That's all these people in the world, man. Two thirds of our people. That's your, that's all your celebrities right there. Any so-called Negro, Latino, Native American celebrity, you can put them in that list right there. And all liars shall have their part in a lake which burneth with the with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. They're gonna participate in a second death, man. But that's why us brothers that believe, you know, we got a Stay on the path, man. It's hard. It ain't easy, but you gotta keep going. Nothing. What's that saying, man? There's that saying, nothing that, nothing that's worth anything is like easy. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna get anything easy. You know, if you don't try for it, basically. You know, you're not. You have to. You have to train to to get yourself strong, physically. You know, which I'm not. I'm. I'm just making an example to get yourself physically strong. You gotta train. You gotta put the effort in. You gotta. You know, put that training in, basically. That's just a, like an example. But it's, just, it's, it's, it's likened unto this truth. you got to keep on the path, man. you got to keep rebuking Satan. Keep doing the right things. Keep teaching his word. Keep going to the camp. Being brotherly. Doing the right things. Keep in order. So then, you know, um, you make it in the end. You know, and and part of the main thing is battling these demons in the mind and stuff, man. But you got to stay on that path. So we don't go and um, get, participate in that second death. Because all it takes is one mistake, man, in the faith that we're in. One mistake and you can fuck up, man. So we've got to stay on that path, man. You know, be, be on that righteous path, which we're, which we're, Lord willing, we're fighting to do, man. So I'm going to read this one here as well. This is um, Revelation 2 and, and 10. Okay, Revelation 2 and 10. Well, I'll start at 9, actually. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. 
and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. That's talking about them Amalekites, man. Or them, you know, Salaki, I said that word. Them small hats, because you know they're censoring everything all the brothers say, man. All the Akiyam say. The small hats, that's them. The synagogue of Satan. So it says, it says, um, it says, but thou art rich. But how are we rich? We're rich in, we're rich in faith. Belief in our Lord. See, the Lord's given us um, spiritual riches right now, man. He's opened our mind up. He's given us the best gift that you know you can ever get, which is faith. You, he's opened the the hopeful elect, our brothers that believe, you know, our minds up to this truth. Now, who else in this planet can say they know anything about the Bible? They they all a lot of people think they know the Bible, but really don't. The the, the depths of it. I mean, we just got what we, you know. I'm not saying I'm deep. I'm saying we ain't, we just got the example. We got basically we have our minds open that's what i'm trying that's what i'm saying we have our minds open you know we you know we got our apostles and elders that have taught us this and through the spirit yahweh bashem yahweh shai and our minds are open now who else in this world can say they know anything about the bible man who else in this world can say they know the true name of the lord of the heavens the creator you see so it says i know that works in tribulation but thou art rich all right we're rich because we got the faith we got belief and we're going to be we're going to get the tangible riches in the kingdom too through with yahweh shai but first, what's the most important is really knowing the scriptures, knowing who the Lord really is. That's what's important. Knowing prophecy. All right. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. And that's them small hats. They're not the real people of the Lord. The real Jews or Judah, Yahawada, you know, um, praise uh, Yahweh, um, Yahweh the praise is basically praise Yahweh, Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, is the so called Negro in America. All right. That's the true uh, Judaism. Yahweh, man. All right. So it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I'll give thee a crown of life. So if we remain, the devil's talking about the so called white man, man. He's going to take some of us brothers and, you know, capture us and put us in these prisons' houses, man. You know? But the Lord said, If we remain faithful unto death, he will give us that crown of life, all right? He that, ha he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. But if we overcome all of that, man, we're not going to be, you know, burning them nuclear missiles, man. We're not going to taste the judgment of the, the wicked of this world. You know, not, and I wanted to read that, this same scripture in the NLT, and I got it here in the New Living Testament. So this is, this is uh, Revelation 2 and 9 in the New Living Testament. It says, I know... About your suffering. So this is this is this is quite um, you know, it's a good translation of it. So it says, I know your suffering and your poverty, but you are rich. I know the blasphemy of those opposing you. They say they are Jews, but they are not, because their because their synagogue belongs to Satan. Don't be afraid of what you are about to suffer, what we are about to suffer, man. So something's about to come down onto the Archeum pretty much, man. We know they're gonna come after us. But that's fine. The Lord said, don't be afraid of what you are about to suffer. The devil will throw some of you into prison to test you. But it's a test. You will suffer for 10 days. But you, but if you remain faithful, even when facing death, I will give you the crown of life. Anyone with ears to hear must listen to the spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. What Yahweh is saying to the, to the churches, to the Archeon, to the believers. Whosoever is victorious will not be harmed by the second death. That's in the NLT, man. So we're about to suffer. We are suffering now, but more suffering's coming. But it's fine because if we overcome it, the Lord will be with us. He'll deliver us. All right. So I wanted to read this one here as well. James 1 and 12 as well. I want to read this one here. <clears throat> uh, bear with me a second. This is James. James 1 verse 12. James 1 verse 12. It says, all right, it says, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. So, and how do you love the Lord? You keep his commandments. You do his work. You do what he said, basically. You can't just say, you know, like these Christians, oh, I love the Lord. That's all they say, but in actions, they, they don't do nothing. They shave, they shave their beards, they eat pork, they commit adultery in there. They do all kind of wickedness in them churches, man. How do you really love the, the God of the Bible? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You keep his commandments. You do his will. 
Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised them, promised to them that love him. So that's what we're waiting for, the crown of life, if we keep on this path, man. You know, and I'm going to end it on this one here. This is 2nd Ezra 2, and I'll start from, uh, this is um, the vision that Ezra saw of Yahweh Shai, you know, on Mount Zion. So it says, and I, and I Ezra, saw upon, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount of Zion a great people whom I could not number. And this is the elect, the brothers that got, their brothers and their families, their children that got delivered, man. All right, the elect, the hopeful elect. And I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount, a Mount, the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number. And they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature. That's talking about Yahweh Shai. All right, he's taller than everyone, man. It says he's taller than all the rest. It says in the midst of them, there was a young man of a Yahweh Shai, all right, whom the world ignorantly calls that J word. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So imagine that, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, the, the king himself, you know, he's the, he's the one we exalt. He's going to be exalted forevermore. He put crowns on the brother's heads that endured, man, that did his work, that did his will. He was like a, you know, hey, man, he was anointing us, man, you know. Oh, well, the hopeful elect, Lord willing, I'm, you know, part of that number as well. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing, meaning we didn't mess with this world, basically. The elect, the elect that get delivered, they overcome this world, basically, man that put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the Lord, now are they crowned and receive palms. And what's one of the main things that we always push in Great Millstone? Yahweh Bar Shem Shai, the name. The name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, which is, which is important, which is powerful, which you have to keep pushing, basically. You've got to keep exalting it. Because that's, who's do, that's who puts the spirit on you to do the work. That's who protects us when we're out in our day-to-day -day life. And that's who inevitably is going to deliver the elect. All right? Put off, put on the immortal, put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is that? What young person is it that crowneth them, and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Lord, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And that's, what the, that's one of the signs of the hopeful elect that we um, continuously confess Yahweh Ba'ashem and Yahweh Shai's name and we stand stiffly for it. You know? We stand stiffly for the name. In the spirit, we, we confess the name, man. We don't like no other names. We don't say that J word. We don't, you know what I mean? We don't, we don't play with the name. It's Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. And we, Lord willing, brothers are standing stiffly for it and confessing it. All right? Always saying it. I mean, there's not a day that goes by where, you know, we don't say the name. We brothers might text message each other, you salute in the name. But, you know, there's not, a, you know, whatever it is, it's always re relevant in our minds. And then when we teach, we're always pushing it, exalting it. All right. To commend um, them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thou, thou hast seen. All right, so yeah, that, that, that's, that's, you know, that's the scriptures that I just had written down there. You know, Lord willing, um, the hopeful elect Archeum, you know, will keep enduring, man. And, and Lord willing, receive the crown of life, man, which is the victory over this world and to be delivered and inherit the kingdom to come. All right. So with that, I'm going to say all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukha, Kudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to the hopeful elect Archeum that are teaching this word. Shalawam Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakha Kudash. Shalawam, Shalawam.